Hi, welcome to Jeremy's Tech Channel, and today we're going to talk about some crazy ideas I got. I've had Linux on the brain for a bit, okay? So I just want to share a couple of crazy ideas that I've gotten thinking about how to normalize uh, Linux. And some of you are like, no, don't make it normal, please. I like it exactly the way it is. Don't change it. I'm not talking about changing it. I'm just talking about the way it gets introduced to us. And it started after I installed Linux on one of my kid's desktop. His desktop was having some problems and I didn't want to work through the whole Windows restoration piece. I was like, you know what? Let's see how he responds to Linux. So I put Pop OS on his desktop and he is none the wiser. I had everything laid out simply because Pop OS has things laid out simply. I made sure there was a shortcut to Minecraft because the kid loves Minecraft. A web browser, that's about it. That's really all he uses. And I would say a lot of kids, that's the case. But it started getting me to think even further. Right now, we're going through this period of what I think a lot of us agree that with the Steam Deck, Coming on board, the Steam Deck is just a handheld PC gaming slash Linux desktop. And it's like 400 to 600 bucks. And there, it's been sold out for, you know, almost the rest of this year. They say, you know, at the end of Q3, maybe Q4, you might be able to get one. And all of these people are going to be having Linux on a device. And it seems to be that these people, it's very easy for them to connect with the desktop and with uh, Steam OS and kind of working their way through it. It's, you know, pretty intuitive for them. With my son, he is using Pop OS and it's pretty intuitive for him. It was no issue. Now, did he have to go through and boot up and learn to install the operating system and make sure safe boot was off and make sure everything was lined up, make sure it had the proper drivers and all of that? No, he didn't have to do that. But there are people that would have just as much a problem installing Windows or Mac OS on their own devices, right? So my thought is first, how can we grow what we already have? So we've got Steam Deck, all right. We definitely don't need a jitterbug style Linux device. If you remember the jitterbug, it was this, when cell phones started to become a thing, it was a simple cell phone with big old numbers on it so that older people could use a cell phone, <laughs> okay? I'm not talking about getting jitterbug for Linux. Sounds weird. But what I am talking about is going the other direction. Maybe, just hear me out. We have a kid's tablet. Now here, listen to me, hear me now, listen to me later, and see what you think. My thought is, when smartphones started becoming a thing, it was, in my generation, it was really evident how people process new things. I had my very young children being able to pick up a tablet or a smartphone and be able to work on it very quickly, very simply, and vice versa, I started getting multiple phone calls from my dad and from other people who um, we'll just say are, you know, older. Now, that doesn't mean there aren't some older people that uh, aren't technically proficient. There are a lot of them, but there are some, and it's more specifically old dog learning to new tricks kind of mindset. I'm not, you know, just, just be aware. I know some outstanding developers that are older. And notice I didn't say old. I'm not talking about old, old. I'm just talking about a generational situation where people tend to become set in their ways or uh, minds that are ready to take in new ideas. And so my thought is, what if we had a Linux tablet designed specifically for children? Now, I know there's an a Amazon Fire tablet. And I know there's Android tablets. And I know there's Chrome OS and I know technically those have Linux kernel somewhere in there, but it's very specific, very closed, and very directed for a certain market. But if we were intentional about having a kid's tablet that was introducing the Linux desktop, the, the Linux ecosystem, maybe, just maybe, it would be a part of their daily life. 
Think about these kids who started out knowing what a smartphone was, and now they're in their teens, maybe even in their 20s, and they're able to maneuver and make that happen. It's very easy for them. And there are other people where it was very difficult because they had already been set in their ways, right? A lot of us looking at Linux and wanting people to potentially use Linux, and a lot of you, well, like I said, a lot of you don't want, don't really care. <laughs> you don't care. You're like, I like it for me. It's working for me. Thank you very much. And that's okay. No problem with that. As I'm talking with my friends and family and people around me in my circles, I'm realizing that with the exception of the install process and getting things set up, they might be able to really enjoy Linux. And really, children tend to be able to handle new information quickly. They're able to learn second languages quickly, more easily than myself. I tried to pick up another language and it's kind of challenging for me, right? It doesn't mean I can't do it. It just means that I have to work a little harder at it. That's all I'm saying. So my thought is, I'm not talking about a Chrome OS thing. I'm not talking about an Android tablet thing. I'm talking about a way to get in children's hands a tablet designed for them. I know there's Endless OS, which is great with all the educational programs and applications that are there, including some coding applications that are right there. Doesn't necessarily need a internet connection, but it can take advantage of that. You have that set up with some specific games, education, and now you kind of tailor that interface to kind of introduce them to Linux. Like I mentioned, my son working on Pop! OS, he really doesn't care that it's not Windows. He really doesn't. It doesn't make any difference to him. Can he easily get to what he wants to work with? The answer to that is yes. Now, once again, I had to set it up for him, but hey, no big deal, right? He's able to work in it. My thought is with the Steam Deck, and with a kid's tablet, now you're dealing with a generation that is completely comfortable with what Linux is. And also opening the eyes to open source philosophy. That is going to be a great way from, you know, in my opinion, to make that happen. Am I going to get my buddies who are around the same age as me to hop ship and be on Linux? Maybe one or two, but not very many. I guarantee you, you know, I've, I've got, I've installed Linux, I've installed Kubuntu on my wife's laptop. And I'm hoping to have it set up for her to use, but I don't necessarily think she's the best case scenario. And here's why she uses Google Chrome and Google Chrome alone. 16 tabs, guys. I've counted 16 tabs open, but she has her uh, Google Docs spreadsheets social, all of it is working within that, and that's just how she chooses to work, and that's fine. But imagine if we had kiddos and teens and 20s and 30s and 40s and 50s and 60s, whatever, but you've got the Steam Deck handling a certain demographic of people, gamers, and you have kiddos getting used to being able to work in a Linux environment. Now, I know we're not necessarily talking about them being able to easily and quickly just be able to open up a terminal terminal and go. But I don't know if you guys remember, but when I was a kid, when we had those uh, Macs in our elementary schools and we had those computers in there, um, I remember Commodore 64, you had to pop in the floppy, right? You had to type in a command to get something to go. They can learn to type a command. Well, you know, anyone can, just like I can learn a second language, but it's challenging for me. But for the youngers, it's really not. It's, it's just easy for them to maneuver. So my thought is Linux kids tablets, separating itself with a different goal than an Amazon Fire tablet or a Chrome OS device. You definitely don't want to get a bunch of cheap hardware super cheap hardware. So this needs to not necessarily feel premium. That's not what I'm saying. Because if you're going to buy your kid something, it's going to get all jacked up. If you've ever had a kid with a tablet, trust me, they get gunked up. That's just what they do. I don't care what you do. I don't care how many times you get them to wash their hands. They're going to get it gunked up. But something sturdy and well-designed to a point that a kid can pick it up, learn something, 
get an education, have access to the regular things that parents are used to, and for parental controls, which I've seen set up in GNOME instances and uh, KDE instances that should be able to translate well on a tablet. So now we've got kids, Steam Deck, and this group comes up and moves Linux in ways that we haven't even thought of yet. I think it's a cool idea. Now you may feel very differently and I'd like for you to share if you agree with this, you disagree with this, share your thoughts in the comments. And that's cool. You know, this is just an idea I'm throwing out because I keep thinking about the branding uh, that Linux and the marketing has chosen to use. And really, you know, an open source mindset doesn't necessarily lend itself to self-promotion. I understand that. But I do think there's room for that. And I'm not necessarily talking from a company perspective. I just mean a community perspective, right? Can we brand? Can we connect? Can we grow a user base uh, that might give more freedom and more options? We shouldn't necessarily be focusing on our parents and our parents' parents, maybe just focusing on uh, the younger generations and see how they pick it up, see how they want to use it and define it. I also believe setting that up might be a baseline for some standards. <laughs> just kidding. Some standards that might work that we can all say, hey, this is a great place to start. Whether it's someone who is new to Linux or a young person or an older person, something that has a standard in place that I think should be a standard that should be easily configured or changed or moved or, or opened up, but just a thought process that maybe we might have an easier way to point someone to Linux. I just did a video on how to choose a distribution and I thought I was clean, clear, and concise. And I watched the thing and it's interesting and I this is the process that I used. I think it's valuable information. Don't, don't misunderstand me, but man, there's a lot of steps to get Linux going for someone. <laughs> it's almost like if you really want them to get Linux, you just go ahead and put it on a device and give it to them. Kids tablets with Linux on it. What do you think? Good idea? Bad idea? Don't care? Whatever. <laughs> That's okay too. But thanks for taking the time to listen to me. I'll see you later.